Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton. I'm Charles Beeson. And today we're checking out the Living End E Boogie and Second Solution live at Big Day Out at 2003. And shout out to Stephen for the pick. Hell yeah, thanks Stephen. We've not heard anything from Living End, so uh, this will be a little new to us and uh, a little bit of video action today to start the day off. Juggles, I like that. Yeah, let's uh, let's send it and see what's up. Let's do it. Halfway point, a little past. They were shredding. Yeah, they were going to town on that instrumental. Absolutely, on e boogie. Yeah, e boogie. That's what I was gonna say. I had the uh, that beginning part, mm -hmm. nice little instrumental just for some fun. Um, the standing bass is impressive too. Yeah, it is. And I'm really noticing the drums a lot in this one. Oh, those, as soon as he kicked sick. in, I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, no joke. Dude was going nuts. Um, the quality isn't the worst thing I've ever seen either. It, it's like not. for 2003. I I always get nervous when I see live 
live yep. uh, videos just because, you know, anything po- like pre-2010, uh, it could generally get, it, can it, be it rough. Could, it could get rough real quick. Um, this isn't bad except for the uh, that bass is really coming through coming through which sounds good it's just a little a little loud for the uh comparative delete to some of the other instruments yeah some of the other aspects it's hard to kind of hear what he's singing too yeah oh um, but it's, it seems like fun too definitely fun i mean if you're gonna do an instrumental that's how you gotta do it yeah oh yeah just each each different aspect of the band just go to town and have your own little solos in it yep i can get behind that even if it's a a longer intro to a song or what what have you as long as everybody's just and they're shredding yeah it's doing i'm all each, for it yeah then. absolutely and then you know live it, it typically doesn't bother me unless we're right. talking like you know it's our it bothers me when it's like a 17 minute solo type deal yeah which i have black label society Woo. <laughs> Woo. I, I haven't seen a 17 minute solo it was uh Let's just say I was glad it was a seated concert. Jeez. Oh, it was impressive for sure. But yeah. I was just like, damn, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> He's like, like one of those things. But I want the music, yeah. the, the rest of the music to continue. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was like the rest of the band were taking a break and he was just shredding. Just gnarly. Like I said, impressive for yeah. sure. It just, I was like, oof. I little... mean, I suppose that would be no different than a, than an acoustic song in the middle of a show. Where it's just the singer and the his guitar, yeah. But while I'm, everybody else goes away, but that's okay because I like vocals. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> we're biased, Chuck. <laughs> that's our side. We like that side. I know. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. This this seems like everybody in the crowd's having fun too. Oh yeah, it definitely looks like it'd be a blast. Live live videos are so much more fun. Well, there's like two different kinds of live videos. I like if there's the live videos that looks like the crowd's having a fucking blast, mm-hmm. which is happening here. Or there's the live videos where they're kind of in like a studio setup, kind of like Jason Isbell yep. had a lot, a lot of times, and they're just kind of singing live there in the studio. Yeah, I also cool. like uh, live videos where the band looks like they're having a blast. Oh sure, just Absolutely. in a, in general, if the crowds, if it's a seated kind of live, but the band's having just going nuts, I love that too. Absolutely, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Let's finish this out and see what happens. Yeah, let's do it.
So the second half of that song, yeah, for the most of it, I caught a lot of drums and a lot of bass. And oh, of course. I, and for the most part, I could barely hear the guitar until towards the end. Where you're shredding there at the yep. end. Yeah. Um, it was almost like the guitar was there for the rhythm. Yeah. Just, just the rhythm guitar for a while. And then just took off. I was really impressed with the uh, the standing bass, the dude. Oh on yeah, it, on like, it. That was on sweet. Top of the bass, that was pretty dope. And then when they panned to the crowd, I was like, okay, so it looks like you're not having fun. You're not there having fun. Like, you're not having fun. You're not having fun. But everybody else around you is having a fucking blast. Well, I wonder. <laughs> you know, sometimes I I've only been on the barrier like once or twice in my life, but you don't really feel the crowd energy there. Yep. So like you're like okay, I'm just front row for the band, and you're like, and you're just enjoying the, the show, show, just vibing. And sometimes you're getting, you know, the festival situations, you're getting just crushed, smashed <laughs> on that thing, and um, so it's kind of like one of those things where you don't notice the people behind you going fucking nuts. Yeah. So maybe that was the case there. Everybody else is zoned out because you're just in the moment. Here. If you looked at everybody behind those people, they were going nuts. They were going nuts. Um. So with this one, I'm definitely going to have to go a little different on the rating scale because I couldn't really understand what he was saying. Right. Until the volume being down. So I'm going to vote my rating mainly on the performance that I saw. Until the end of the second song where it was solution second a bunch of times. Yeah, I (laughs) I caught that. I caught that, which I was like, even watching that, I was like, that'd be dope live. Oh, yeah. Like analyzing it like we typically would do. I was like, okay, the, the watching it. It'd be the crowd, sweet live, but then I'm like. The crowd going fucking nuts on that. I, I don't know how that works in casual. Uh, that's basically, I'm going to throw it in casual, a uh, second solution, that is. Yeah. Um, just to see what happens. So I it is, It's going to make a playlist because I'm curious about it. His vocal sounded great. It's yeah. just, you know, the instrumental and you're live. Oh, yeah. Um, so based off what I was seeing there, the band was going nuts, especially the standing, ba- the dude on the standing. Oh base. yeah. That was phenomenal. Dude, the band was having a blast. The crowd there was having back. a good time. They're having a good ass it's time. It's a big ass crowd too. Yeah, it is. It really is. Um, so rating wise for this one, I think I'm going to go with a 6.3. I'm impressed with the band's, uh, energy there. They instrumentally were sound, uh, probably well above that, honestly. Um, and then, you know, any of the uh, random volumes being a little off, I'm not, that's just chalked down to 2003 recording. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that for Second Solution, or what do you rate knee boogie? I just rated them all together. Oh, all together? Yeah, I just okay. rated the video as a whole gotcha, in this gotcha. one. Um, but, yeah, definitely going to throw that in a playlist, see what happens with it, because I'm curious, uh, you know, on a studio aspect of it, Yeah. see what happens. Um, video as a whole, I'm going to go with a uh, 6.8, and I'm going to add Second Solution to a playlist for sure. I'm not going to add e-boogie to a playlist. Me either. It's an instrumental, instrumental. That's just not my style. But they definitely looked like they were having a blast. Oh, yeah. Really good time. I would love to be in a crowd like that. Of course. Just having fun. Absolutely. But that's all I got. What you got? Nothing. Guys. We're two boys. One brain cell. Make sure you drop down in the comments on who gets that brain cell. Remember, I'm Chuck Beeson. I'm Joel Norton. Y'all have a great day, but hit that like first. Peace. Thanks, Stephen. Peace.